Hi everyone, my name is Christy and welcome to my makeup review series. Today I'm going to be trying out the Ciate London Extraordinary Setting Powder Pressed Translucent Setting Powder. So the Ciate London Extraordinary Setting Powder, the loose version, I have used for many, many years. I think it was literally one of the first setting powders I ever got, and it's such a great one, but I'm surprised I haven't tried out the pressed version of that powder yet. And to me, I don't really have much of a preference whether it's a loose powder or a pressed powder, but either way, I want it to help prevent the creasing that I get from my concealer and then smooth out the foundation and set the foundation in place so that it can last all day. So right before I started recording this video, I applied my concealer and let's see how those creases are. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of creasing happening in my concealer right now. So we're gonna see if this powder can prevent that while also making the under eyes look smooth and not cakey or dry it out. And then I also have my foundation on and so I want my powder to be able to set my foundation so that I can stay in place. Like I have some breakouts on my chin and I don't want that coverage going anywhere. <laughs> so let's go ahead and see how this powder does. This is a sample size that I got in Ipsy, but even the sample size packaging is so cute. Oh, and it has little stars like embossed on the powder here, so cute. And so the first place I'm going to apply this is my under eyes. So I'm going to tap out those creases. And then I like to use these little velvety powder puffs to set my under eyes. So I'm gonna pick up some of the powder here on the puff and let's see. <laughs> so this is definitely a stark white color. Which, wow, look at how brightening that is to my under eye or kind of even like whitening <laughs> like that white color is pretty visible and I'm trying to blend it out but that white color is kind of there to stay which is fine with me because it's actually creating a nice brightening effect but for flash photography <laughs> that might come across a little weird but aside from that white color it is looking very smooth on the on the under eye. It's not looking textured or dry. So I'm really happy with my first impression of this. Let's go ahead and see how it is for the other eye. Picking it up like that. Yeah, so quick and easy to apply. And I felt like my under eyes were looking pretty dark. So I like that this brightened them up and that it is completely preventing any creasing, but it still looks like normal skin texture, not cakey, not drying. So very happy with that. To set the rest of my face, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up a fluffy powder brush like this. And I'll dust this all over the skin. I am still, even with more of this light dusting technique, I'm still getting that white cast. This is supposed to be translucent, so I wouldn't have expected to see so much of that white color left on the skin. But trying to get past that color again, the powder looks great. Basically, it doesn't look like anything. It didn't leave a powdery texture. The skin is mattified, smoothed over. I'm just gonna go ahead, maybe with my dampened sponge here, pick up a little bit more to just tap over 
these blemishes where I really want to keep that coverage in place. And I love that no matter how much of this powder I'm layering up, it's not looking heavy, it's not looking cakey, and it's not looking dry. So there we go. My face is completely set and it doesn't feel tight or dried out. Still absolutely no creasing on my under eyes. I feel like I don't have to worry about that at all anymore. And I feel like I don't have to worry about my foundation budging or that coverage fading throughout the day. So I like this powder as long as I'm not going to be doing any flash photos so that I don't get any crazy flashback in those photos. I think for a quick everyday setting of my concealer and the rest of my face, this is perfectly fine. It's not so amazing that I would repurchase this in the full size or recommend that you need this in your collection. But since I have it, it's nice. I like the texture of it. But let me know in the comments down below how this worked for you, especially for different skin tones. I'd love to hear how it works. But thank you so much for watching my video today. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you soon in my next video.